Hey, yeah, good day, guys. Welcome back to the Gravity Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. So, right now, we teach you how to create a restaurant flyer using your smartphone. So, without wasting much of our time, let's get started. So, the first thing we need to do is to select the backgrounds we want to use. So, I would go with the background like this. So, after selecting the backgrounds, then the next thing I'm going to do is to import the burger. So I will bring in the burger. So when you look at the burger very well, I need it to make. Uh, I I have to make it to look real. And how am I going to do that? I need to apply shadow into that. So after placing the burger, you access your gallery and uh, just download the uh, resources I'm going to use at the description of this video. So after you do that, you just bend it a little bit then position it very well just zoom uh drag it out a little bit then what do you need to do first next just send it to the back this one will allow it to look real so you can drag it out a little bit so that it can be able to cover the expected area okay so after you position it i'm still adjusting it a bit so after you position it, you lock it. After you lock it, copy, then crop it again. After you crop it, position it very well and you send it to the back. Now after you achieve that, the next thing you need to do, just go to opacity and you reduce the opacity a little bit and you are going to have this lock again. After you are able to do that, we are going to bring the text which I did behind the uh, screen. So I just type a burger like this. So what do I need to do with it? I have to divide it into two, okay? So I will bring one at... Um, just crop it exactly like this. So after cropping it, then you bring it to this side. So you can enable. After you are enable, you can use crop. Reduce the size. Tap on it and you bring it up. Okay. After positioning it to that side, drag this, okay? Drag it very well, and you drag this part as well. So you can bring this one in a little bit. Okay, very cool. So now let's look at it. It remain a little, remain little. So we can drag this a bit. While we are going to rotate a little bit, a little bit. So let's check. So guess this is cool. So after we are able to do this, we are going to copy this. So when you copy, enable the mask and you click out. Now we are able to separate it into two. So once you are able to separate it into two, we are going to give color. We are going to give the same color to this. So take it for instance. We are giving it a yellow color. So we use the color picker. Tap the color from the burger. And then enable it to make it look real. Okay. So make it look real. So after you are able to achieve that, we are going to send it to the back. Why we are going to send the uh, the upper one to the back, but just having two different color. So once we are able to do that, we are going to lock everything. Then you go to your sticker. You have this particular sticker shape. So when you have that, what do what do I need uh, need it to do? So I need to position it here. Tap the empty area, go into color, use the color 
uh, uh, red color position it on top of it to blend it continue copy and replace and place copy and place not to cover everything but to make it look like a uh, uh, blur make it blur okay you can delete one but stretch this stretch this part to cover this part why you bring this part to cover this part after you are able to do that you make sure you lock everything once you are able to do that access your gallery back you bring the burger place it at the left side go to your gallery bring the burger place it at the right side sorry bring another burger you have to place that at the right side okay so once you're able to do that go back to your layer and you lock the two now go back to your gallery heading back to your gallery bring in this particular shape position it on top of the burger have it lock immediately access your gallery back when you get there what do you what do i need uh to do next i have to bring in these two particular uh objects the best over and save 30 percent i will lock the two then access the gallery bring in this light effect position it on top of it and boom we are good to go so when we look at everything we will realize that uh, this is to look cool so the next thing we need to do next is to lock so after locking it what do we need to do next we go in back to our shape crop your shape as perfect as this after you're able to crop the shape or better still leave your shape like this after you position it like this after position it like this just bring it little just a little bit so after you position it this way then the next thing you are going to do is to go in back to your tux and you type order now okay just type order now then you go back to the font type go into font type so when you get to font type select a font called archivo archivo or outfits but i prefer to use archivo archivo the, let me use semi board so after typing the archivo semi board you go into both both detail bit go into color change the color to red okay you can make it deeper by zoom it like that then you are going to position this here so better still you can make it more bolder than this either you use stroke to make it bold then you reduce it to two or you change the overall font but i i, I prefer this then the next thing is you position it to the center you can reduce it a little bit okay then you position to the center after you are able to do that then the next thing we are going to do is to access our gallery then i'm going back to my camera then i will locate i will just locate the effect i'm looking for so let me locate the effect So I'm looking for the effect. I'm looking for the effect. So good. I've seen the effect. I will just crop this effect. I will position it like this. Okay, perfect. So bet for bet better still, I will send it to the back to look awesome. And now I'm good to go. So I'm able to create this particular uh, design in less than 10 minutes. You can access the PLP at the description of this video. And I believe we'll learn something from here. 
for to make everything local i will uh, deliberately copy this not this i will deliberately copy this okay bit then i will bring it up then bring it to one side a bit just to complete the stuff okay so once i'm able to do that what is the next thing i'm going to do i have to change the color to this so i will tap this then go in there change the color to yellow as well why only this one will be so the next thing i'm going to do i will lock everything after locking it what is the next thing i'm, I'm going to do i'll make sure i lock everything without excluding anyone so now tap here then you stretch this so after you stretch it tap empty area then you go into this color just change the color to red okay crop it like this crop it like this then you go to opacity reduce the opacity a little bit the reason is make it not be <coughs> make it not be too sharp then the light effect you position here you bring it back to the top so that everything will seem we seem plumb so thank you for watching guys i believe we'll learn something from here god bless you just go to the saving mode dimension should be in ultra and the format should be in png for better quality <coughs> Thanks for watching once again.